hi guys welcome back to yet another video if you are new to this channel my name is abena i make beauty related videos so if you are interested in something like that then please subscribe to this channel so in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i was able to come up with this high ponytail yes it looks like i braided the hair from my scalp nope 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 i did the ponytail separately braided my hair separately and attached it as you saw on the screen i showed you the product or the items that i'll be using for this tutorial so just ignore my talking and focus on the video focus on the visual i showed you everything there are so many advantages when it comes to doing braid ponytail guys you can literally do this and keep it for years if you keep it safe all right you can literally keep it for years you can revamp it add beads add accessories anytime you wear it and it will look new this one that i did i am going to wear i have another one that i did which i'll leave in the teaser or the link for you guys to check it out that one i did crochet i use crochet braids to do it but this one i am braiding the hair myself because i wanted it to be up to a particular length so yes i braided it myself if you have any questions or anything at all don't forget to leave it in the comment section down below and i'll make sure to attend to that all right doing this method of braids or high ponytail saves time because first of all you're just braiding your hair um, your comb roll and you're attaching it on top so you wouldn't sit there for long hours braiding it secondly you can do it yourself without going to the salon this is very 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 easy you can pretty much go to the salon and get your normal comb roll braided for cheap and then come back home and attach it and you are good to go all right so this is very 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 economical and it saves time it took me a whole day to finish braiding this hair as i said i wanted it really 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 long i will insert a clip of the length in this video for you guys to see it passed my bottom like that that's the length of this braid it was really 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 long and that is how i wanted and i'm going to work it anytime i'm feeling lazy to do my hair i'm going to use this hair all right so to begin you need your crochet pin and i use the smallest size because the net in this um drawstring pony here is really really tiny so you need the smallest size crochet pin you will make sure that you slide it into the holes that's those tiny 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 holes about three or six maximum of them and then you attach a tiny bit of braiding hair to it and pull it through and that is going to be like a stencil or let's say in case you are braiding your normal hair you would have your own hair pull out before you add the extension so this one you are just going to do it like so as i'm doing here and then you pull it and make sure that both sides are the same and then you begin to feed in your braiding hair I don't know if this makes sense you begin to feed in your normal braiding hair as if you are doing feeding braids if you can't do feeding braids if you can't do knotless braid just make sure that you add the hair at once and braid it wouldn't change anything i just wanted mine to look more natural from the scalp that is why i did let's say the knotless braid yeah so that's basically it you braid all the way down if the length is too short for you and you want to add more you can do so whilst you go down for the braiding hair that i used the length was 50 inches and 50 inches i added in so let's say i wouldn't say it's 100 inches in all but let's say probably it can be um 70 to 80 inches long yes that's the length of this braid you can pretty much use any braiding hair that you have i don't really have to show you the particular brand that i use but if you're on this channel if you're following me if you have been with me for a long time you already know the brand that i use so once that is done i then seal the ends with some hot water and also make the hair relax and feel more flexible that is why we use the hot water on the hair it doesn't make the hair unravel and it makes it really 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 soft And as you can see it's really looking gorgeous right here and this is how the tip is looking like right now so I'll go ahead to show you guys how I clipped it on my cornrow I just braided my cornrow off camera because I wanted to save time this video alone is almost 10 minutes I didn't want it to be too long so I had to just cut some parts off it's pretty simple you see the combs that came with the drawstring you're just going to pretty much clip the combs 
in your hair the corn roll and then you pull the drawstring to make it tight and then that's it you just pick a piece of the braid to cover up the front and then make it more natural or make it look like it was braided right from the scalp throughout and that's it you are done you can remove it when you come back home from work from school from church from anywhere that is what i do i just take it off in the evening when i come back home in the morning i put it on and this preserve it it doesn't make it tangle it doesn't make it do anything and once you are bored with the look you can just keep it neat in a drawer hang it somewhere whenever you want to use it you just pick it and you are good to go so that's pretty much for this tutorial guys i hope you really learned something from it if there are any other hairstyles you want me to try or want me to do don't forget to leave it down below and i'll make sure to do it for you and as always stay fab stay beautiful and be awesome please 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 subscribe to this channel and also like this video and share it as well until next week bye